Last night when a group of parents spoke out over the school district still requiring their kids uh, to mask up there at the school. There was supposed to be a board meeting that was canceled just a few minutes before it was set to begin. And that's when things really got heated with the parents. News for Tucson's Eric Fink was there and brings us the latest. Hey, welcome back everybody. Drone Tech here. I got a crazy video to show you today from Arizona where the governor has lifted the mask mandate, yet the schools continue to enforce that rescinded mandate on the kids. Well, the parents are having none of it and wanted to vote this school board out, but then they just fled the meeting. We're going to dig right into this, but first, just give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer for my viewers. Did you know that college and comes from the ancient Greek word for glue, this is because it acts as a glue between our cells and body's organs. The problem is our bodies don't produce unlimited amounts of collagen. This is why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. This multi-collagen is a scientifically backed collection of the highest quality types of collagen our bodies need for thicker hair, more youthful skin, healthier nails, and pain-free joints. It's flavorless, odorless, and dissolves quickly. Get my favorite multi-collagen for 51% off today by going to www www.healthwithdronetech.com That's www.healthwithdronetech.com or by visiting the link below. 20 minutes before a scheduled board meeting Tuesday night here in Vail, we got word that it was canceled because of safety concerns. That upset some of the parents who wanted to speak to board members. They got into district headquarters demanding to speak to the board. A few minutes later, some parents and their kids got a chance to talk to the board. During that time, other parents decided to hold an impromptu election and elect a new board. That, of course, having no merit because school board members here are elected in an actual election. A tense and chaotic several hours Tuesday night, all centering around a Southern Arizona school district's mask policy. <laughs> yeah, is it just me or is that guy having a really hard time breathing while trying to give his report? Let our children breathe! Let our children breathe! Oh, wow. And they do not have the right to take this away from us. These are our kids. And at times, angry group of parents making their way inside school district headquarters in Vail Tuesday night after a board meeting was canceled. Dump the board! Dump the board! County Sheriff's deputies called out to try and keep the peace, but their presence only making these parents' voices louder. And they have the audacity to leave when we come here as peaceful parents? To talk to them? I understand what you're saying, but I have no control. There's always the smaller portion that likes to be louder than the others. But I, I believe the school district does a great job of hearing and putting the concern and safety of everyone. Wow, that teacher's a real dick. He just dismisses the parents' legitimate concerns as the howlings of a vocal minority. Pretty ironic considering that BLM and Antifa are a vocal minority, but I'm sure that's completely different for reasons. The mandate's been lifted, the vaccine is out and available to anybody who wants it. There's no science showing that this virus is a serious threat to children, and according to the CDC, quote, in-person learning in schools has not been associated with substantial community transmission. So the teachers get the vaccine and problem solved. But no, there definitely seems to be other agendas at play here. The arrogant teacher's response to the parents mirrors the wannabe tyrant politicians that are using this virus to flex their power over the populace. Pull the kids out! Pull the kids out! Pull the kids out! Pull the kids out! The kids out. School officials telling me that the district is working on a letter to send to all parents here in Vail saying that nothing has changed. The mask mandate remains in place, so too to the school board members. So basically, F you to the parents. We don't care about the mandate being lifted. We're gonna keep doing what we wanna do because we never let a good crisis go to waste and we're gonna use this to control you like we've always wanted to. This guy really doesn't look well. Like he's having a really hard time breathing in that mask. Maybe he looks like that because he sounds like the spokesperson for a dictator ordering the people to comply despite the fact this mandate was lifted by the governor. Almost like there's two governments running the state. If you're a parent, get ready to show up to these school Board meetings because now apparently they're just openly leftist re-education camps that are autonomous from the state government apparently. We're gonna have to be very vocal and very angry if we want any chance of stopping this madness. 
That's all I have for this one. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all tomorrow.